So, what is the Lent and season, ladies and gentlemen? Lent is the season wherein we recall the story of Jesus Christ, to his passion, his suffering, his death, and resurrection. In our country, we are known to be the only Catholic country in the entire Asia region. And its population is made up of a big number of devout Catholics, which is the reason why Lent season or Holy Week traditions are practiced in a unique way. Because Lent and season marks the beginning of Lent for us Catholics. Ash Wednesday is also signaling the start of the Lent and season. Ladies and gentlemen, next slide, please. What is the essence of the Lenten season? It is the season wherein we observe and commemorate the passion, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And this is our time for us to reflect on what it means to be Christ's followers. Next slide, please. It is referred to us as Semana Santa or Mahal na Araw in our country. Holy Week starts from Palm Sunday, followed by Holy Monday, Tuesday, and Holy Wednesday. And also, Monday Thursday, Good Friday, Black Saturday, and will end on Easter Sunday. Next slide, please. So, Holy Monday and Holy Tuesday and Holy Wednesday are still part of the solid week, but these days are what we call as regular working days. Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday are public holidays which are set by the Philippine government. Filipinos are known to have a lot of beliefs in every cat event which also called Pamahikin. There are many kinds of traditions in different provinces in our country, which has started from the olden times and passed from our generation to generation. Even today, in modern era, these traditions still exist. And that's why, what are the traditions of Holy Week in the Philippines? Ash Wednesday signals the start of Lent, where the Catholic people have the practice of placing ashes on the forehead as a sign of inner repentance. The ashes King of the branches blessed on Palm Sunday. Next slide, please. Fasting. Some people choose to submit themselves to penitence when we fast and we abstain. We can practice this on Ash Wednesday until Good Friday. You can only eat one full meal a day. Abstinence is the practice of abstaining from meat on Ash Wednesday. Good Friday and all the Fridays of Lent. We also have Pabasa or Passion, which is the story about the life suffering of Jesus Christ. A group of people will take turns to chant parts of the verses from the book known as Passion. Pabasa is done day and night from Monday Thursday until Good Friday. Next slide, please. Senakulo is a traditional fashion play showing the suffering and death of Jesus Christ, and it is one of the traditions during Holy Week in the Philippines. It is done usually performed in the street. The performers were dressed up in costumes depicting Roman soldiers complete in body armor. The tradition is practiced in Marinduque as well. The Senaculo is one of the most popular Senaco in the country where the actors wear best of Hand carved wood or paper machine topped by a helmet adorned with multi nude paper flowers with bullion garb. And also, we have Visita Iglesia. This is the practice of visiting seven churches and to recite the Stations of the Cross. This is done on Monday, Thursday, or Good Friday. The purpose of this is to visit Catholic churches in our country. Lent is a in layman's term, ladies and gentlemen. Lent is a period of the preparations for Easter. In Western churches, we begin on Ash Wednesday. Forty days is involved for fasting and abstinence. And the purpose of this is in imitation of the fasting of Jesus Christ in the wilderness before he began his public ministry. Next slide, please. A period of preparation and fasting has been observed before the Easter festival since Apostolic times. It was not formalized until 325 CE under the First Council of Nicaea. 
is the time for preparation of candidates for baptism and the time of penance where previous sinners were excluded from communion and to prepare for the restoration. As a sign of their penitence, they wore sackcloth and were sprinkled with ashes. This form of penance began to die out in the 9th century. It is customary for all the people to be reminded of the need for penitence by receiving a deposition of ashes on their foreheads on the first day of Lent, which is called Ash Wednesday. Bakit Ash Wednesday, ladies and gentlemen? Yan yung araw nagsimula ang Lent. In the early centuries, ang mga fasting rules ay mahiti. Isang pagkain, bawat araw, ay pwede sa gabi. Ang pagkain, noong panahon niyo, ang pagkain ng karne, isla, itlog, at mantika, ay bawat. The Eastern Church, ay ipinibabawad ang paggamit ng wine, alak, mantika, gatas, at iba pa. In the West, these fasting rules have gradually been relaxed. The strict law of fasting among Roman Catholics was dispensed during the Second World War. Ash Wednesday and Good Friday are now kept as Lenten fast days. Next slide, please. However, the emphasis of almsgiving and penitential practice remain. Many Catholics also observe a meatless Friday during Lent. Catholics and other Christians can often choose to give up sweets, alcohol, social media. During the Lenten season as a way to show simplicity and self-control. Many use their cravings or desires for these items as a reminder to pray and to refocus on their spiritual matters. Next slide, please. Based in the traditions of the Lutheran and the Anglican churches. In the Anglican churches, the Book of Common Prayer prescribes that Lent should be observed with fasting. Lutheranism and Protestantism, Lent is observed with various services and practices, but Lent is not observed formally in evangelical or non denominational churches. Example of this. Yung hindi nag-observe yung Latin season, yung Iglesia ni Cristo. Next slide, please. Filipinos are certainly rich in culture and tradition, which makes every event more fun and much awaited. We may differ in ways of observing the Latin season. Sacrifice is done during the season. What matters the most is the intention and the sincerity of a person. That is the time to reminisce and to reflect on the suffering of Jesus Christ, his death and resurrection for us. And that's why we as the Catholics, we celebrate the Lenten season is because we have to tell the story of the death, resurrection, and the suffering of Jesus Christ. So that and that's now concluding our topic. Next slide, please. 